Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am currently outside. My hood up some on hoods up on my, my truck. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking my cane and air filter off my truck off my engine because the cane air filter is clogged. So let's get started. Alright, so right here is my cane and air filter. Okay, and there's a clamp here. Okay, and in order to take this in order to unscrew this clamp okay it's a eight it's an eight millimeter uh small socket with a i'm not sure what this is called i guess like a nut driver or something okay so hold on and it should just come right on off and there we go all right so since i took my cane and air filter okay off my uh, canine tube okay now if anybody does this okay and you have to still use your vehicle okay to either pick up your kids grocery shopping or a friend's house or whatever it is and you don't want to run your you, you don't want to run your vehicle without the canine filter on okay now i'm going to show you the, the method i use all right so right here is a pair of knee-high stockings okay you can get um these are like leggings for women's or for women's leggings or whatever okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna actually cut cut here and here off which i'm gonna do now and i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do okay don't need that okay gonna do is cut it right down the seam okay. okay now this is what I have right here okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this excess stuff off okay. now I need to cut straight up this way So, okay, so now that I have it like this, okay, like that, okay, all I need is from here over, okay, so what I'm going to do, sometimes it gets stuck on my fingers, okay, take the, there it goes. Okay, so now, now that I have it like that, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Right about to there. Alright, just like that. Okay. The knee high legging stock that I, that I just cut out. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this over. Okay, actually, like this. There we go. I'm going to put this over. The intake tube. This is only this knee high stocking is only on here temporarily, okay? Because it takes uh, uh, it takes a few hours or something or a half day or whatever it is to actually like uh, like um, clean your clean, uh, to clean your cane and air filter, okay? So if you have to go somewhere, okay, after it's off, and you say, okay, well I can't because I don't have a cane and air filter on or whatever it is. So what do I do? This is what you do. You take the you get a pair, a pair of leggings like this okay you put it over it just like this okay now what you do you, now what you do you take the clamp that came off your cane air filter okay to hold it on what you do is you basically you take a eight millimeter right there and you tighten this up a little bit okay now what you do now what you do is you put it over it okay it's still a little too loose and you may tighten up a little bit more Okay, you just you just keep basically keep doing it. You keep tightening, you know, keep tightening, uh, tighten the uh, clamp up, just enough until just enough until it starts going over here. Okay, a little not not like hard, but a little bit. Okay, so like that, and uh, uh, okay now it's on there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take my finger, push the remaining underneath underneath the lip here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Okay, I need the lip here like this. Just keep doing it like so. Like this. And now what you do is you pull it. Okay, pull it like this. Fix the clamp on it a little bit. Okay, like that. Do this. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do is. Sorry about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the. Take, uh, tighten up the clamp just a little bit more not a lot just a little bit more like this now i'm going to go ahead and pull it through reach under reach underneath here pull it through okay pull this through like this okay like that make sure it's all make sure it's all pulled underneath like this like this okay all right now i'm going to tighten up a little bit more now the reason why I'm, now the reason why I tighten it a little bit, then do this, you know, then pull the knee high stock in this way, then I, you know, then I tighten up a little bit more, is because I don't want to rip the knee high stockings. Okay, so now, now now I go ahead and tighten up a little bit more. Okay, see like that. Now I go ahead and I pull it. Now the knee high stockings will not will not rip or not, or won't not not did rip, but now will come apart. Okay. And this, okay, now, now that the creaking noise you hear, folks, is my uh, GoPro cloth. I'm very sorry. So, bring it this way. Okay, now, see, now, now I got the now I got the clamp on, the knee high stocking on, okay? And it's it goes in just a little bit with this right here is fine, okay? Now, if anybody does this and they want to do it more, then you just basically pull a little bit more, a little bit more, keep going around, just like I did back here, okay, like that. And like that, okay. Now, now it's just it's a it's a little bit more, all right, so it's a little bit more tighter. Now, to find now, now to to make this clamp tighter, just tighten it up, okay. Tighten it up like this, and there. Now, now I can go ahead and I can I can I can start the truck up, and I can drive to where to wherever I need to drive because I have the knee high stocking on here, okay? Nothing can get through here, okay? This should be 99.99% effective as far as dirt, okay? So everything, so now everything should be good. Okay, now this is a temporary fix for like a day and a half or just a day, just enough. So when, when, you know, when your air filter is uh, pre-soaking or soaking or being washed or clean or whatever it is, okay? And you still gotta go somewhere. Okay, you can put this on here and it, you could you put this on here and you can still drive your truck okay just please make sure that that it is tight here and it's on here really good okay just like that and there you go okay um now if you now it, once once you're all done putting this on okay it is safely securely on here okay because the reason why that you want to tighten up the clamp as much as you can without actually breaking the tube okay because if you start your vehicle up and if this knee-high stock and end the clamp is not on here secure enough okay more it's yeah knee-high stock and the clamp sorry is, is not on here secure enough the air the, 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 the intake tube will suck this knee high stock in straight up inside your motor and you don't want that okay so please be aware that this clamp must be tight but not over tight where you damage your tube here okay now I'm gonna now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the access off because I don't need all this access here okay I don't have to go like bananas with it I just want to cut some of it off so it's not like you know so it's not like flapping around whatever it is and stuff like that so it's just like this, uh, just like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. We seem to be good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There we go. We're good. Okay. Because you can cut the access off, which is right here. Okay. Um. Just so it's not so it doesn't look as uh it doesn't look as crappy by flopping all around. That's all. All right, so right here is my k &R filter. It says k &R right there, okay? And this filter is disgusting. It is so badly clogged that it's actually supposed to be a red color. So the cotton's supposed to be red and it is pure black. So it's gonna have to be clean. Now, how I clean it, okay, is by using Simple Green, okay? I use Simple Green on pretty much everything I have, 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do And I got this super green at Walmart for three dollars and ninety seven cents But there was a dollar coupon so dollar off which brought it to two ninety seven and it's a uh, it's a 32 fluid, or sorry, 32 fluid ounce. I may have to invest in an autom a battery powered pump sprayer that you take you uh, take this sprayer part out and you put the electric one or I think a battery powered one in. So you just basically hold on to the nozzle and you go tit 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 tit. Pretty cool. All right, okay, put the spray down. Okay, so, so now that I have this all soaked, I mean, it's literally, free, it's literally, literally soaked, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, soak for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna put it in that Harper Freight Tools bucket, as you see right there, and this is just regular uh, tap water in it. So, <clears throat> all right, so it has been about 15 minutes now, Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to submerge it into this bucket of water. So, there it goes. Oh, all right. Oof. All right, so I just pretty much submerged as you saw, and and it is really nasty. Oh God, that water was clear. Now it's it's now changed colors. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. Swish it, swish it. Yeah. So since I had this, since I had this can in our filter soak it for about five ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna let this drip out a little bit. Shake it a little bit. Oh god, this thing's nasty. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this down, put that right there. That's what the water looks like. It is nasty. Ugh. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump this out. I'm gonna dump the water out. I'm gonna go ahead and put fresh water in and then repeat the same process again. And that should be hopefully it. I got fresh water. Okay, it's just a little, it looks a little sudsy because there's uh, uh, the sip of green is like a little soapy, so that's what it looks like on top of the film. But fresh, clean water. Now, now, now let's go ahead and pre so uh, go ahead and take sip of green, soak that again, and then put it in here. Okay, make my sip of green in here. Okay, so now that that's done, okay, so now I just sprayed super green on here again, all around, and I go ahead and submerge. Okay, let that sit. So it looks like again, all dirty again, so I guess the can, I guess that filter was a lot dirtier than I thought. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I pretty much let this uh, can air filter soak in the uh, water, okay? And I also put more um, of the simple green on. I sprayed around it, so resubmerged the air filter in the water. And um, so it actually, did, it actually did do a pretty good job. I mean, it, did, it actually did a little bit better than I thought. I'm going to show you. Okay, now 
hopefully you can see this okay the, um like in this sec like this in this section right here it actually looks cleaner okay than in some spots but it is it is um cleaning it like right in here cleaning it more okay so that's what it looks like give you closer up okay like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um set this down okay then i'm gonna go ahead and dump this water out this k and r filter okay minus the access water tenant and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the silver green again is i'm gonna put this right down there like that and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave that there for a little while yeah uh let the simple green really soak into it all right so i got my hose here here and what i'm gonna do without me disconnecting the hose here okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take the hose oh you have to turn it on hold on a minute okay Put the button back over there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the filter. Okay. Now they say to spray in the inside of this because what happens is that if you spray it from outside to in, then that means any particles that are left over will actually go back into the filter. So they say spray from the inside. Oh, so I'm gonna do this. Yep. Yeah, it's looking a little better. Yeah. hose is actually helping um, as far as rinsing it off as you saw all those sudsy water and stuff comes out so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the same process I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and spray inside of the canner filter to push the stuff outside so I'm gonna spray from the ins from the outside to inside back and forth same setup same thing and uh, yeah all right everybody um, pretty much Took the hose from the outside, from the outside right here to the inside, and then the inside, outside, back and forth. And if you can see that, okay, I'm trying to do this manually with one hand. I should have my GoPro uh, head strap on, but you can see light. See that? That's what I'm looking for. So it's all good. This and all the water pretty much drained all out of it. So I think it's pretty much, I think the water's all out now. I'm going to set this right on top of this cardboard and I'm going to let that sit for six to eight hours so I know that it will, it will be completely dry because if I put, if I wait like say three hours and I put it back on my, you know, I'll put it back on my t uh, intake tube and if there is any water left in there, the water will eventually get inside the motor and it'll rust, it'll, it'll start rusting the inside the motor and that's not, and that's not good. Okay, so six to eight hours, okay, it's got to let it sit and dry, for, okay, I know I keep it, sorry, six to eight hours, got to let it completely dry, okay, and then, um, then we can go ahead and, uh, yeah, go from there, so, all right, um, if anybody, if anybody watches this video and does exact does what I do, okay, and now if you do this early in the morning, you can leave your can in our filter outside, like, uh, like, you know, like, like on any surface that, you know, of your choosing, whatever, to let it dry that way. 
okay you can also um, try to figure out how you can wrap something around the neck which is this right here okay uh, yeah see it's still got some water in there sorry so you still got some water okay you can try to hook something around here which i've seen but it's a fail because it, it won't hold on to it and then uh you know you can mount it to like a ceiling or something and then it'll just see it, it'll just like that and then whatever access water is in this filter will just drip out so yeah so that's what it is so just gonna leave it like that so i just figured i'd go yeah so I just figured to go ahead and mention that um, because I started this a little late, so that's why I don't want to leave it outside because in case somebody sees it, steals it, okay, which I'm not going to accuse anybody in case it does. So I'm just going to leave it in the garage, as you just saw, and let it, let it dry that way. So see you in six to eight hours. All right, everybody. It's been about uh, 12 hours uh, since this can air filter. Um, can air filter was sitting was uh, right down here now it now sorry about that now it's up on top of my uh, new workbench that i built that i built okay if anybody is new to this channel i built this workbench um out of free two by fours i will link that right up either here or here you can go check the check it out if you want you know the of how i built it okay so the can air filter is dried okay um yeah dried all around okay i did stick my hand inside of um inside of here and and as you can as you can see it's i don't know if you can see that but it's like a little little wet yeah it's a little bit of wet i mean i don't know if you can't see it sorry but yeah it's just a little wet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a rag take this rag wipe all the inside of this here out and then i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some um sip of green and spray a little bit on top of uh, the Chrome power here, wipe this all off, and then uh, I should be pretty much well to, uh, should be pretty much well to be put it back on. All right, so right here I got my super green, and I'm gonna spray on top of this, just very you know just a little bit, and I'm gonna wipe the top of it off to make it look a little better. And there are. There are, if you can see that, there are little scratches I can hear here and stuff like that, that um, I'm not gonna be able to get out and that's fine. Okay, and I can flip it over. Now I'm gonna st stick the rag inside of here. So I'm basically gonna clean all underneath here as best as I can. Let's get all this stuff out. <clears throat> All I'm trying to do is just get it dry down there and get it clean because when I put this air filter back onto the intake tube that it doesn't uh, that the wetness that's left behind doesn't go doesn't go up up straight through the intake tube and into the motor. That would be a bad thing. Okay. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a little on top of here. Not a lot, just a little bit like that. Clean this off, get all nice and clean. Like this. And good and okay that's good so so here so right now uh just before i put this cane and air filter back on my truck i wanted to say one th i want to say uh, a th uh something here i've seen on youtube where people take um like um wd-40 and spray a light coat all around the, all around the outside of the air filter um to coat it so that way when you drive your vehicle, okay, and the dirt comes up, and the dirt's supposed to stick to the outside, not and not go to the inside, okay. And but I'm not too sure if I should use WD-40. Um, I have to do a little bit more research, okay, before I go ahead and use WD-40 because I don't want to ruin it, okay. So yeah, I don't want to ruin the can air filter. So I think I just thought it out there. So I mean, I've seen people use WD-40 on on other YouTube channels. Okay, but I'm a little skeptical on that until I actually do some research. I may actually just buy a uh, can, uh, buy a bottle, or buy a plastic bottle of um, K and N oil coating. Okay, it's on Amazon for like maybe twelve bucks. But the amount of times I clean this air filter, it probably lasts me for a while. So I just wanted to throw it out there. So, all right, all right. So right here, I'm in, I'm in my air box. Okay, this is a metal air box. 
Okay, I got, um, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take uh, eight millimeter, small socket, okay, to another driver. I'm gonna undo this, undo this, or undo this clamp. Okay, oh, and I just wanted to say one thing that, that this, uh, this um, little, I guess, uh, what you call little um, configuration or whatever it's called uh, with the um, knee high stockings that are on here, it actually worked because I've done it before, but it actually works. Wanna let everybody know, okay, it worked. Okay, it held up really good, which I'm actually, which I'm actually surprised. So, just want to throw that out there. Okay, and I'm gonna pull this off. Okay, there's the clamp. There's this. So, now what I'm gonna do is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, try to um, clean all this out first. Okay, before I put the filter back on. All right, I got my super green. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a spray of light coat. Not heavy, just a light coat. And I'm gonna wipe all this stuff out. Put that over there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blow on it. Okay. All right, now we can put the can air filter back on. Okay. So this is K, this is K, uh, K and a K on top and the N on the bottom. Okay, so the K has got to be facing up toward the engine. Okay, and there is a metal strip here. Okay, this has got to be facing down toward the bottom of this. Okay, I mean you can have it the other way around; it doesn't make a difference. But I like it this way. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to slide the clamp. I'm going to unloosen the clamp here a little bit. Sometimes having a battery power drill actually works a little better because zoop, undo it, zoop, tighten it up. <laughs> zoop, zoop. Okay, and tighten that up like this. Okay, I just got to undo it a little bit more. Okay, now, pull it like this. Now go ahead and put the, there we go, put it like this. Like this. Good. That's it. That's it. There we go. And I'm gonna untighten this a little bit more. All right. Try to move the clamp. There we go. Put it right like right like that. Go ahead and tighten it up. And okay, now if you have to you now if you have to clean your air filter, okay, hopefully this video does help, okay. But when you put your clamp at when you put your clamp on onto the when you put your clamp onto the, onto the neck of the air filter itself, then you slide over your uh, slide over your beginning of your intake tube, okay, and you push on a little bit to get it on there, and then you take the clamp, okay. Now see how I got the. Right. Sorry about that. Just so you can see. So see how I got that right there. Okay. Now all you have to really do is basically, okay. All you have to really basically do is just tighten it. Keep tightening it up and, until it starts getting tight. When it starts getting tight, that's when you stop. So you basically just untighten it like this, and then, and then you just tighten it back up, and it's tight right about to there. And there it goes. All set, all done. Everything's all nice and secure. There we go. All right, everybody. Um, everything worked out good. Uh, truck runs really well, which is good. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.